Hello, I'm Cyril Devonte, working for Urwerk in the Research and Development Department. So this is already an advanced sketch, but if we have an idea of a new watch, it will start more or less like this. Martin Fry, the co-founder of Urwerk, he will do a design sketch, and then on the design sketch, we know some parameters, for example the crown, we know the diameter of the Urwerk crown, but like we have to have it. We measure it, we do a scale, and then we put it into the CAD program to build it really on, uh, on Inventor and build up the whole case, the movement and everything. And then it's always a ping pong game between the design and the technical office. Which means we, and I, we like what we need to have it function and Martin he likes how the watch should look like at the end that at the end everything is harmonized together and it looks as one component and not to solve a little technical problem here to design here and design on the other spots and somewhere else at the end he always looks at the picture as a whole to have a harmonized product at the end same was also for the 110 which we have here this one is already the second year now we have the 110 First year we do it, uh, always we discover also the watch first in reality, in metal and everything. So first year we have, as little indication, white luminous markers and then the following years it passed to the yellow one. So if you have a 110 with the white luminous markers, you know this is the first year, first edition. And then afterwards we play with it, we do a different bezel, different colors, little uh, different shapes on the bezel to give a tactical feeling, for example, for the stripes bezel. It, it, it invites to touch the bezel, it gives a completely different feeling than if you have this one. And on the Tantalum version, the idea was really to underline the protecting shield. Our bezel is like the shield of the spaceship, to have it protected if you go into the atmosphere or if you are exposed to some weird stuff, whatever. So we've chosen to make it much thicker. It's almost double the thickness of the normal bezel and it's made out of cantalum. Uh, walk us through this, how the uh, mechanics work, please. So what we have, we always like to have an easy readability of time. So here also we use a version of our cubes. So we have three cubes, each of them has four sides with the four digits for the hours. 